This is Lewis Sark for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store Forged Irish Stout. Delighted to be joined with Johnny Clark. Just finished another show, Constantine Ursu, with a, I suppose a beast of a performance. I think uh, he would probably have liked to have it a little bit uh, sort of tougher out there, I guess. He was sort of telling him to get up, but I um, suppose happy with, uh, happy with everything that happened uh, tonight? Yeah, mate. It was an unbelievable show. Um, focus on the negatives is shit, but we had four pullouts on fight week. That happens, you have to ride it, and when you get through the shit, you end up with the beautiful night, you know, and I had to make sure that it was a beautiful night for all these boxers involved. See that, Brad? Um, but Brad, he had his debut, and uh, it was a very tough debut for Brad yeah, yeah, yeah. against Edgar, he's a fucking lunatic, if I'm being honest, yeah. and uh, he played his part. And uh, yeah, I'm very proud of Brad for how he acted on this show. Very professional, um, done his tickets, done his weight, uh, and give it his all, turned up on the night done his medicals and that was my issue wasn't it so yeah very proud of him I suppose we'll get on to like the medical issue in, in a bit because it's obviously something that's plagued you especially throughout this this camp but um, you know, just touching on Constantine Ursu there um, we did see him a couple months ago um, against Jordan Dujon in an, almost a destruction job and more or less sort of the same today um, a real real destructive performance and I uh, speaking to Andy Clark you know a guy who's seen a lot of fights and he said you know he can be a real handful at uh, Super Light yeah listen it's um, a pleasure to have him on um, I feel very privileged to actually have him on my shows and now uh, that makes him mandatory for the Commonwealth. So that's obviously Harris Scarf and uh, that's another Let's Go fighter but I know he's got, is it Eliminator for the world yeah, title? He's fighting like Trukasian in, in uh, Germany. Yeah so maybe he could let that title go <laughs> and yeah. maybe we could have that and uh, bring in someone for it. But listen he is a special talent. Before the fight he said to me John I'm going to finish him in the third. I said it on my opener when we opened the TV and that's what he'd done so uh, he made sure I was right. One fight we do need to talk about, um, Ben Crocker against Stelios Papadopoulos. Like, when you match these fights and when you do 50-50s, that's what you get. You know, an incredible, incredible fight uh, between the two where I think Ben had heavy success early on, probably faded towards the end of it, where Stelios came on stronger. You know, the knockdown made all the keys. So, you know, incredible fight there. Yeah, that, that obviously it was one point difference. It was one point. Yeah, one point, 76, 75. Yeah, and for me, I, I had it. A draw. I had first three to Ben and a knockdown, and then the last five to Stelios. But <laughs> this is it was fucking brilliant, weren't it? I'd love to see it again. I don't think, obviously, Stelios would love it again. But I don't know if Ben would, and he doesn't deserve for me to say that. But it would be an absolute blind of a rematch for him, you know. But listen, fair fair play to him. He come over and he looked really good at the start. Lovely sharp jab, and I was really impressed by him. So yeah, well done for getting down to super light as well because he was fighting a super welter, and I think the strength then showed maybe a bit of the weight cut maybe his way yeah, yeah. fell off but listen if he sticks to that weight now like uh, Gary Lockett says and, and build on it I, I think he'll do really well at that weight go far your promoter so the idea is to build fights um, you know there's two girls that fought on the card tonight um, Louise Orton and uh, Harley Whitwell yeah. um, you know they both put in solid performances yeah. um, happy with that and you know happy with that being a potential fight down the line yeah, well, Harley's got um, Chelsea Arnell next for the Silver Commonwealth. Uh, put it in for the English as well. Louise wasn't available for my next show. She's, um, I think she's got a wedding or something. Um, not hers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, So maybe we could visit that in September. But I know they got close lately of sparring because no one will spar them. So it definitely has to be for a title for them to fight. So maybe that can be in September. But of course, they've come on here. They're, they're, they're always correct, like we're saying, medicals training, camp, weight, they do what they've got to do, they turn up and fight and that's all I can ask for. Obviously Zach Fee, another one with a, with a, you know, a, a, a polished performance out there, um, a guy that you seem to always be keeping your faith on, um, um, you, know, you had him on a couple of your shows now, so sort of that's the idea of potentially pushing him forward, I know you did mention youth titles, but sort of a steady ride for him. Yeah, well, it would have been a youth title next, it was all agreed, but Bill and his team wanted to slow it down, they said once he's got a target on the back, he's 19, maybe if he was 21, I said no, I agree, I understand, so we just keep building him, keep building maybe another six, then an eight, um, I think he'll be on in September, if I'm being honest, because uh, I really wanted a 50-50 in that slot, and if he's not fighting for the title, then I'm going to push him to September. Now, we're just focusing on the, the pullouts, um, you mentioned on, you put on your story, I think, you know, it, it sort of got the better of you, you know, your emotions, and, you know, you got angry about sort of, yeah, yeah, that's it, yeah, no, and, and sort of, just saying that, how frustrating would it be, with, I suppose, with all the medicals, you said, you know, if you're in the June card, you need to get it done now, so it must be a frustrating thing. Well, flip it round, yeah? Flip it round. I've done everything I need to do as a promoter. 
Yeah, I've paid all the insurances, paid all the venue, paid all the ambulance. Imagine if you got this close to the fight one week out and I chose not to pay the insurance, not to pay the venue and the fight was off. How would people look at me? So when we get near a fight and I get the update from the board and all the medicals are due, the opticians and something can be wrong on them where you just need um, the signature might be wrong. Sometimes the date's wrong, date of birth's wrong, believe it or not. That's wrong, you have to send it back and the back and forth for you have can take a week and then you're done, the fight's off. And why would you do camp? <laughs> why would you? That's uh, so I'm scared of him. <laughs> why would you do camp and then train, diet, waste your coach's time, and at the end not have a medical in place? Like for me, that baffles me. It's just, it's just not how I act. But maybe that's why I don't want in business because I won't let that happen. Yeah. For sure. I suppose we'll move on now to the next card, June 29th. Um, I did see Harry Armstrong against Nick Webb. Uh, that was obviously a fight confirmed. A few other fights confirmed. They sort of can give us what, what's an idea on what we can see on June 29th. Yeah, so far 10 50 50s and one debut. Yeah, so we've got Liddy Winch making her debut, um, like you just said, um, Webb and Armstrong. Hopefully for the Southern Area, uh, heavyweight title. If not, Silver Comms it will be for. Just love a Silver Comm, don't I? Um, yeah, Harley Whitwell, Chelsea Arnell. Um, who else? Uh, Lewis Rose versus Nikolai oh, yeah. Campbell. Obviously, I know. Bit of America there. Yeah, like the American coming over, choosing my show. That means a lot to me. But then, obviously, even like Nikolai Campbell, he's no away fight. He's let's go. So his family, really, you know. And uh, I've spoke to him for a long time. He's always mentioned about me being professional. And I said, well, now we get to work together. So he's already had promos filmed for him, you know. Like we've already made that start with him. Um, and then we've got someone who impressed me tonight, Taylor Jordan. Been ten years out of the ring. I don't know. He's still so young but he's been 10 years ahead of him and uh, he's got Alex Cole oh, in a proper good 50-50 that you know so yeah and then um, Malik Kareem versus Traver Palmer as well in another 50-50 Nice stuff, mate. I do look forward to that. Johnny, thank you for taking time to speak to me. Really, really good to catch up with you. And yeah, hopefully I'll be uh, coming back to uh, the next one. Definitely enjoyed my debut, mate. Thank Top you. man. Thank you, mate. Cheers. Cheers.